The production analysis feature really sets HeavyJob apart from the competition. Ultimately, production analysis collects the daily recorded information and lets you know how the job is actually doing. As a result, foreman and or management are able to make on-the-spot decisions based on the entered data. Let's start with the time card, where we will track production performed by employees and equipment against associated cost codes. For demonstration purposes, I'm going to copy a time card that has cost codes, employees, and equipment already associated to it. Once that is complete, we will add units of production against the cost codes as well as time against employees and equipment per cost code. After the time card has been completed, go to the Production Analysis button. While in Production Analysis, users can analyze the data by the foreman and cost code. If a time card or MSE transaction exists for this date and foreman, the Summary tab will list all cost codes worked on this day. Notice the columns associated to each cost code. The budgeted quantity column indicates the number of units that were budgeted for this cost code for this job. In this example, 18 inlets were budgeted for each cost code for this job. The quantity column identifies the amount of units completed by the crew associated to the foreman, the day, and the job. In this case, one inlet was completed for each of the two cost codes. The percent column shows how the completed quantity interacts with the overall budgeted quantity. For instance, since the crew benched and finished one inlet today, Mike's crew completed 5.6% of the overall budgeted quantity for this cost code. The expected column is in dollars because the analyze field is set to total dollars. As a result, the expected value is multiplying percent complete by the value of the overall budget quantity to arrive at $115.89. The actual column is the actual amount it took to complete one inlet. Again, this is in dollars because the analyze field is set to total dollars. The variance column is the difference between your expected and your actual. If your actual numbers are more, then the expected amount, the variance field will display the negative value in red. Further, if your actual numbers are more than the expected amount, the gain loss field will also display the negative value in red as well. Instead of analyzing by total dollars, you have the option to also analyze by labor hours, labor hours per unit, unit per labor hour, and dollar per unit. These values will be compared against the expected values to determine if these costs and hours are in line with their budgets. If the job has a forecast, you can compare your actual numbers against these revised targets. You can also select different time frames to see the analysis. Notice how the two date viewer shows all cost codes associated to this foreman since the beginning of the job. Some last items to note is the fact that you can view the data in a graphical way as well. And here are the various methods you can use to report this data.